Hey, it's Spencer Bullman. It's in day here, and you're watching Shine On Media. I'm so excited. I mean, I remember how excited I was to watch Disney Channel movies when I was their age. So to know what that feeling is like, I'm, I hope that they're loving it and really pumped. It's going to be awesome because, A, I love surprising other people. I don't like people surprising me because I always figure out. I love surprising other people, and I love meeting, like, my fans, people who are interested in what I do, and I'm, I hope they're very excited. Jackson is philosophical. Jackson is intellectual. Jackson is just this philosophical, like, he knows everything about everything, and he's super deep. He's always, like, very grounded, and he even keel. He doesn't really get too emotional, too crazy. Zoe is confused. Zoe is fun. Why I say that is because Zoe, her life is just completely turned upside down and she has no idea how to fix it. She's like that because she's she's got a lot of stuff going on, so I think she has to keep it real. As in they and I hung out a lot, we would go like kayaking. We were filmed it up in Canada. So we'd go kayaking, we would hike and stuff. Funny things, like there's this part in the movie where I had to do like this dance move. It was like a jump hop thing. And then I couldn't do it. Like my, I'm just not that good of a dancer. And Zendaya was trying to teach me how to do it. And I just couldn't get it. It was really funny, but um, she made fun of me a lot. We, we poked fun at each other, so we had a blast. Onset fun secrets. I mean, there's something not so fun that happened to me. Uh, I When we were shooting the dance scene, I don't know. I, I think I found I realize now that I cannot handle like um, strobe lights. I was getting like almost like seasick. Like I was like, whoa, like I'm tripping out. And so I went over to my mom's like, I don't feel good at all. And she was like, are you OK? I was like, no, I mean, I was dancing and on my stomach hurts and I just, you know, and I and I had to like shut down and then um, and then they had me do one more scene and at this point I'm like pale like green They're, and they kept the scene in there it's it's me and I'm pumping up the team I'm like let's go guys you can do this let's go out there and I'm literally fighting back the urge to puke all over everyone and I'm just like all right go out there and do your thing and I look like three shades greener than I really am and then of course I did it and as soon as I got in the car I was like Bleh. So that was not a fun story, but I guess it was pretty interesting. There's a ton of things that I think the movie teaches you. One of which is, um, I think, to limit phone time. And like, there's so much dealing with the app and phone and being on your phone and, and dealing with all that. And I really liked my character because in one of the scenes, he's like reading in the park on like a weekend. and. I mean, a book, like not an iPad, not a screen or anything like that. And I think it's really important to remember to, you know, put the electronics down sometimes and go outside, clear your head, and not be so wrapped up in the phone situation. But there's so many lessons in the film that I think people will take away from it. Definitely the message is sometimes, A, our smartphones aren't the answer to every little problem that we have. And B, I would say that sometimes you have to kind of find the positive in your situation. I think everyone kind of goes through changes and, and things like that. But usually the best way to deal with it is to have more of a positive outlook look and try to find the try to find your way around it make it better I honestly love her and I feel like she's inspired so much of my career is amazing it's like pirates right? like a pirate accent like, like pirate. I'm from Scotland